I'm back. It's been a while, a bit of a hiatus. We're starting things off here. I'm with Nick. I'm in his shed. Can you tell us uh, what we're going to be doing? Yeah, we're going to build up the new Polygon Tambora carbon gravel bike, which should be pretty sick. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add a bunch of sick FSA parts. Yo, let's get into it. First of all, do you have a specific tail for this? Okay, oh, it's weird. a wearer component. Matches the screwdrivers. <laughs> Chris, it wouldn't be a bike build without a beer. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Let's do it. A little crisp as well. <laughs> oh, they glued it. Polygon liked it. They know the bike's gone out to me. They <laughs> yeah. add on extra glue. If the packaging is any indication of the quality of the construction of the bike, we're in for a good. Oh no, I've messed. Oh no. Oh, That's no. a faux pas. There we go. It's like when you peel off the screen protector. <sighs> oh. oh wow. Okay, reveal. All right. This is brilliant. Oh, oh is she pretty. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. Whoa, does that come stuck with carbon rings? Oh yeah, my god, it does. Cool. It comes with carbon wheels, new 12 speed Apex, Novatech hub, Apex, carbon. Look how good the packaging is. It's got Velcro. And it's pretty minimalist, which is foam. nice. That color is sick. And we've got adjustable tabs if I want to change geometry. Flip chips. And I think in the rear. Are we happy? We're definitely happy. Yeah, this is great. Oh, we got flip chips in the back. I bet your downhill bike doesn't have that. <laughs> no, it's really good in person. Sick. Yeah, I'm delighted. Size large as well. What are you cooking up today, chef? Oh, we're cooking up a new Tambora <laughs> G7. Tambora G7. So it's one um, component spec down from the, the highest spec one, but it's still full carbon frame, uh, frame and fork, carbon C posts and carbon wheels. So it's a pretty fancy bike. It's definitely the fanciest gravel bike I've ever owned. Right, all right, set it up, Nicholas. Oh, that was, that was that was pretty slick actually. A small shed, so. Yeah. Small was... shed for a massive human, <laughs> as they say, as the saying goes, don't they? All right, we get this baby unwrapped. Yeah, let's we'll unwrap it. I mean, you don't really need any schnicks compared to a normal thing. It's all just mm, it's quite nice. Super nice. Very impressive packaging. Mm. So, right. Carbon wheels on a carbon bike. Yep. Oh, look at the size of that BB here, it's sick. It's T47. <whistles> What's T47, you ask? Well, yeah, it's BB30, yeah, what is... but threaded. Ah, lovely, so no creaky bottom brackets. Yeah, so it's the same size Beautiful. as a BB30 bottom bracket shell, but they thread it. So the bearings still go in, they're still huge, but you don't have any of the annoying press fit creaking or... So it's kind of great for gravel biking, because we were just talking about earlier how, how awful um, gravel bikes uh, are on your group set really really hard on them mm -hmm. so that's a nice little addition i'll just put in, in a after effects i'll take you i'll paint you out yeah so it looked like the bike just lifted itself in I there did. i didn't touch it that's sweet i like this color yeah i might call this bike uh the safari let's call it um dune because i love that franchise that movie yeah. and then it's the color of sand dune or you could call it timothy after timothy chamelay as a kind of Subtle hint to the fact that it's named after Dune. Yeah, true. But although I don't think anyone will actually get that, like it's such a tiny link, isn't it? But I like it, Nick. It is a solid name for a bike. Maybe I'll call this Arrakis because it's full of the crackers. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna unfollow myself. Sorry, guys. Right. High setting. Oh, little. Do it. <laughs> Quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, I made that look pretty hard, so... We'll edit it in post. Oh, it doesn't even rub out of the box. That's crazy. It's pretty impressive, Polygon. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was weird. Lot. Literally, just take off a few straps, bit of tread on one of the cranks to stop from moving, 
put the front wheel in, put the bars on and put the seat post in and that's it, fully built. Yeah. So that took what, four minutes? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And the gears are really um, Well, that shit's amazing. Okay, so the gears come... And it's got a clutch trailer. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So this is like properly ready to rip. Literally, out of the box. Sweet. But we are going to do a custom build, so although this is great and I'm really impressed with the build, we're going to put our own slant on it and uh, we're going to change the wheels, seat post, seat, bar, stem, um, to FSA, all my brand, um, brand I ride for. And we may change the rear derailleur and cassette, but that derailleur is actually looking really good and it has a clutch, so we may not need to. It's a really well thought out spec bike and I actually cannot wait to ride it. Yeah, it's got loads of bottle cage holes. Yeah, it's got loads of bottle cage holes. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, the bottom's up. So you can fit four bottles in the front triangle for your bike packing. And then there's up here for That's a frame, frame bag. bag, I guess. Yeah. Front trailer mount. Yeah. DI2 mount. We got rack mounts. And that. Yeah. And rack mounts. Amazing. That's incredible. That's much better than fork mounts because it's more aero. Oh. You know more about gravel than me. I only know how to send on a gravel bike, Nick. <laughs> I'm a geologist after all. Yeah. <laughs> First up, we got the stem from FSA. This is a pretty interesting concept and I have not tried it in either of you. It's supposed to be a shock absorbing stem. Whoa. It's quite a little chonker. Insert that goes inside the stem and then three different types. the bar goes through the center and it's supposed to take away the, oh, you've got different inserts. Depending on the, oh, that's really soft. Oh, it's pretty hard. Harder. So this is middle. It's the middle of the road, I guess. So if you're gonna fully send it. Yeah, fine. Medium or hard? Should we start off with medium and see? Yeah, as well. Yeah, middle of the road. All right, let's do it. Can you read that? 44 centimeters wide and it's 31.8 clamp and these are fsa's adventure bar they're alloy they got pretty nice sweep outwards oh wow so this goes inside yeah and then it looks like to fit the bars we have to oh, take put that in the bar this first. out wrap the elastomer around teamwork yeah goes through and that part's aluminium as well which is cool does that have to be fixed tight uh, well you have access to it at the bottom so oh so can oh, you do after sweet i don't know i'll check out the torque spec and stuff on the inside my bars are going to feel so comfortable in here <laughs> yeah build essential biscuit mm. what's better than a biscuit a beer a free biscuit ah Thank you, Kira. Okay. Although, Kira, you never watch my YouTube videos. But cheers for bringing these home. Thank you. Kind of similar color to the frame. Well, not really. That is really clean. Cable routing. Nicholas. It's pretty good, isn't it? Are you proud? I'm proud. <laughs> you can say what you want about cables through the headset, but on this, it's actually not too bad. Mm. It's got like little grommets to prevent the water getting in. The race at the top splits in half. There's like slots for every cable you could ever need. It is clean. Yeah. Obviously, it's not as easy to work with, but I think once you have it figured out, it's not and too looks bad. sick. Plus, they say it's like a watt for every 10 centimeters of cable. <laughs> so you're gonna be air out of that. FSA wheel set. We've got the SLK AGX carbon wheels. Yeah, look at those bad boys. Very nice, very nice. Beautiful. I was gonna say listen to that, but there's absolutely no noise. That free hope. <laughs> Very nice, lovely, Very okay. Nice. Let's see if this rear wheel is um, a C driver or not. That would be helpful. It is. Boom. Oh yeah, boot. All right, so that's good. God, these are so nice. So these are FSA's um, gravel specific wheel and they actually can be also used for XC. 
these are the i25s so they are kind of like perfect for me because i'm going to be taking this gravel bike down some chunky tracks i'd say i'm going to be pairing these with these uh Pirelli, what are they? Pirelli Centurado M's. gravel M's, which look pretty chonky, and they're 45C. So this bike uh, can handle uh, 700 by 45C. That's the clearance uh, limit. So I'm going to go straight up to that front and rear. Hopefully, have a bit more of a comfortable ride. My last gravel bike um, could only handle 40C. So this should be a really nice uh, change. This is definitely the best rim tape I've ever used. Sticks really well, has a stretch to it. You don't get any air popping. And really good coverage. And usually you only need one lap around, which you can't say that for a lot of rim tapes. Those are crap. Very cool, Nick. <laughs> hmm? You just twirled it around. At any point, if you want to take over video and duties, <laughs> make me do it. You make this look you know, quicker. Like this has only been 30 seconds and you've already got to the point where you're putting sealant in. I'd like to take a more is less approach. Those are some big useful hands. <laughs> oh that's satisfying. Oh. That was an intense pop, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, holy Which one did I rim tape? I hope I didn't mess it up in the front. Oh god. So yeah, that goes down, it's my fault. There's loads of sealant in there. Yeah, there is. The most pro of all. Valve caps. Wow. Oh, look at that clearance at the front. Looks sick. It's a big track bike, you want no gap. So this is a technique for measuring the length. Big ring, front and rear plus four. Plus links. four links is generally loads. Cut twice, measure once. You could actually take another link. One of my favorite tools. I thought I was your favorite tool. <laughs> Highly recommend this tool. Yeah. It's like not even an expensive one, but it just works so well. Oh, it's got a nice speckle in it. Yeah, like cork tape, but scratchy with a bit of a thing. Beautiful. Oh my god, we're done. <laughs> Nick, you absolute legend.
Unbelievable, man. Looks sick. Looks nice. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna weigh it. What well, a decent amount of, there's no inserts, but decent amount of sealant. Big tires. And then I still have to change the cranks to FSA cranks. But yeah, this is basically the build. Let's see what it weighs. <laughs> I don't think it's going to decide on <laughs> Well, we're, it, let's just say it's definitely under 10 kgs based off this. <laughs> yeah, with really heavy pedals. What's it in pounds for any Americans watching? Oh yeah, 20, let's just call it 21. I guess you could put it in the bike stand, maybe. And I'll tighten it. Alright. Oh wow, it's 22 on the button. And? 9.98 kgs. It's very good when you consider that you've got like proper pedals, heavy old cranks, big tires, and a stem that weighs almost 300 grams. I will have much lighter cranks, I'll have FSA carbon cranks. And then I'm trying out their VPS stem, but that actually weighs just shy of 300 grams, so there's a strong chance I'll be going to a stem that weighs half that. So Say realistically, we'll be down to nine and a half kgs. Nine and a half. And I have personally, I have no clue. I just like to ride gravel bikes. I don't know enough about the gravel world, so I don't even know if that's a great weight. But I don't really care. I just it feels very light when you consider. Yeah, it does feel like light. Almost mountain bike size tires. Yeah. Alloy bars, alloy stem, big pedals, alloy cranks, basic like SRAM Apex is like their yeah entry level group set. Huh. Pretty good. Mm. I'm happy. Very cool. Looks sick. Are you happy? Are you jelly? Yeah. <laughs> Are you I'm jelly in your belly? I'm jealous. <laughs> Nicky's jelly. Yeah. Well, Nick, if you play your cards right, I'll let you have a go. But yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you were thinking I was gonna be like, I'm gonna get you one for your birthday. Will be next one boxing. Will be my my Christmas present. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hint, hint. All right. Well, that's been the Tambora G7 build. Mr. Nick here has uh, been very good to oblige and build a bike for me, for us. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you learned a few things about how bad I am at videoing bike builds. I've never actually videoed one. And how good Nick is at building bikes. <laughs> do you want a little sign out? Yeah, that's fucking good. Hopefully yeah. we'll do another one. Do we shall. Sorry for cursing. You should be apologizing. I'll get demonetized before I'm monetized. Yo.